Sun Rosie Personnel Depression Network. Um, fits under the PCP umbrella because we're all about empowering the people to work together to support each other and not relying on individual services or agencies as much. So we're more than pleased to be part of this. Uh, we are a uh, lovely community in Sun Rosie. We have some great people here. And uh, through the social indicators, we have worked out that we are a community under stress. There is no doubt that we're going through some hardships with drought especially and a downturn in the markets. Um, but having said that, we do know that there is need for the community to pull together and mental health is one of our priorities. So we, um, through our working parties, identified that women suffering from postnatal depression have not had the support uh, locally that they could have had and the establishment of the Sunrosia Postnatal Depression Network uh, was an area that uh, we were more than willing to support. Postnatal depression in our Australian society is quite high. It, uh, given that it is a small population that we're referring to, it runs at about 15 or 16 per cent and uh, therefore poses a significant uh, problem within the health community. The depression affects more than just the woman herself. It does affect um, her partner, her wider family and support network and of course the relationships that she's developing with that new baby. So potentially the, the effect spreads like a ripple in a pond uh, out through her wider support network. Well, the impact of postnatal depression on women and their families can be quite far reaching because it doesn't only affect the woman, it affects their connection with their baby. Um, if the depression has come on in the antenatal period then it can affect obviously their connection with the unborn baby and therefore any other family members that are around as well. Um, the relationship with their partner often suffers while the woman um, is going through their depression. And uh, it takes a lot of work to get that back on track and, and, and so it you know, prevents women from working. A lot of times these are previously professional women and the, uh, the role change that comes along with having a baby is part of what can trigger the depression in the first place and then it takes some time to recover. It's common at that time, just after a baby is born, to feel overwhelmed, to feel physically exhausted and emotionally, uh, I'm, not, I'm not prepared for this. But a true depressive illness is, is much more than just that transient uh, feeling blue, as we might call it, in that first week after the baby's born. It, it interferes with the capacity to be able to think and formulate plans. It uh, interferes with uh, normal day-to-day -day function. You're not able to um, organise your life around this new baby, to, uh, get out of the house, do normal shopping, normal social activities. It can uh, interfere with the way that you're able to relate to your partner in particular. So it becomes functionally disabling, not just a, a down feeling, but an inability to function in all of those areas of, of normal life. The things that I found the hardest to cope with was um, having a complete lack of hope. The insidious part of depression is that it creeps up on you and you don't realise that you're getting worse each day, um, that you aren't making rational decisions because your thinking isn't straight. I remember one day sitting down after my third child was born and saying to my husband, I feel like I'm never going to be happy ever again. Well, the spectrum of postnatal depression or anxiety is actually no different to any other type of depression. So it can vary from a very mild case to a very severe case and that there's a whole range of symptomatology in between there. Um, I guess we need to treat all cases because we're, we might pick someone up quite early on with what looks like a mild case of uh, postnatal depression and then if that's not treated can certainly spiral downwards and have the, the woman having quite catastrophic effects for her family. Um, and it also doesn't mean that they're a nutcase or that they're going to stay depressed forever. Yeah, it's certainly treatable and I haven't seen any women who haven't recovered even from the most serious levels of postnatal depression and they've gone on to create beautiful bonds and beautiful families. Medication may become necessary and uh, there are a variety of medications nowadays which uh, have uh, no addictive potential, uh, they're not going to harm the baby and, uh, and they have very few side effects compared with some of the older medications so uh, there's certainly options there for her. Thankfully I had a beautiful 
group of girlfriends who came and helped me. I was thinking and worrying all the time that the person that I had been wasn't quite there at the moment, that I, I wasn't the capable mother and professional person that I normally was. And so I really didn't have anyone to talk to who had been through that experience. And I wanted to see, physically see someone so that I had hope that I would come out the other side and recover. We identified that there was a lot of uh, women and their families in our local area that have suffered through postnatal depression and unfortunately had to suffer pretty much in silence. And that must be a, a terrible thing to do. So this uh, support network allows women to come along and share their experiences and uh, help one another and support one another and I think that's a wonderful thing. At the moment, as we're about to launch our services, um, we've got 10 women who have experienced and recovered from postnatal depression. They've all done mental health first aid training. We've got some um, systems in place to help us and now where we will reach out to other women in the community who are recently diagnosed with postnatal depression and provide them with someone to talk to, someone who can give them some hope of recovery and who can also talk to their partners or mums or girlfriends and give them some ideas of, of practical things to help a woman and her family when they're affected by postnatal depression. As a, as a community then we need to develop these support mechanisms that become a surrogate family if you like, um, that allow for healthy relationships, um, support when you're feeling down, whether it's just a phone call or being able to go and visit and have a cup of tea and sit down and talk about how you're feeling, um, sharing with with other mothers who have been through that process and, and can say, hey, look, there is light at the end of, at the, end of the tunnel. I've been through it. I know what you're going through. Uh, I think it's an incredibly important support uh, network. The um, Sunraysia Postnatal Depression Support Network is set up as peer support. I think it's quite unique and quite exciting to be a part of because I'm not sure that it's done in very many other places, actually. So. Um, definitely the idea of supporting each other as peers to, you know, to create hope and practical support on a day-to-day -day basis is going to be really valuable to the women in this town. The butterfly is a, a symbol of love and support of, from women who have experienced postnatal depression, reaching out to those who are newly diagnosed. When I was quite ill with postnatal depression, one of my girlfriends came and, and gave me a beautiful butterfly brooch. It reminded me that I had people who loved and cared about me and um, as part of the postnatal depression support network, women who are supporting um, women in our community who are newly diagnosed with postnatal depression will present them with a butterfly brooch to symbolise that they're not alone, that there's many women in this community that are affected by postnatal depression and that there are a group of women who are thinking about them and care about them as well. The relationships with our, with our immediate family and with the wider community are, are really what make us um, human beings and, and, and we function best when we have healthy relationships. So support networks both within our immediate families and within the wider community are so important. The Sunraysia Postnatal Depression Support Network is going to make a real difference in this community.